Hi everybody, this is Manuel. In this tutorial, I would like to give you my personal tip how to enhance your sky and make it pop in Lightroom. So this, taken, this photo was taken during a sunny day in Bali. If you take a look at the sky, I find that the sky is white, doesn't have much details, and it, it, it's a little blah. And then we have a nice foreground with the reef, uh, and uh, it just doesn't match. So we're going to try to keep a natural feel to this photo, and I'll give you guys just a quick tips how to achieve that in about two minutes. So first off, we're going to go with the basic panel here. Use the highlight slider. If you bring your highlights down, what tends to happen is you will basically get rid of a lot of glare and basically bring back details in some areas that are overblown a little bit. So if you take a look at the sky now, it looks good at minus 100. Uh, in some cases, it works good. In other, it will look weird. So you need to kind of fine tune your highlights. If you go too far, sometimes it doesn't work. In this case, work just fine. Second things I do, I go to my exposure slider and I darken my image to a point which I feel I retrieve enough details and I feel that it looks good. In this case, minus 0 0.45 looks great to me. Get like nice dark uh, contrast, white, and we get all the details we needed. The downside of doing this is your foreground get darker. So go use a brush, compensate. It was minus 0 0.45. Well, I will go plus 0 0.45. Use a big brush, the feather about 30 and I will paint back the light that I lost. And I use a good feather uh, because it blends very nice uh, together. So we don't have a harsh line or anything like that. It looks very natural. If you want to take a look at your uh, painting job, over your mouse over that dot, and then where you see red is what you actually painted. So it looks natural, it looks good. Now if you look, oh, we're gonna press done because we, oops, sorry, because we're done with this. If you look at the before and the after, now the foreground, we did a good job at bringing it back to where it was. And look at the sky, the difference. A lot more details in this uh, photo on the right, and the blue in the sky looks good versus the overblown sky and less detail on the left. Second thing I do after I'm done with the basic panel, I will go to my color panel. I will start with the luminance. Uh, if you go under the HSL for use, saturation, and luminance, I will take my blue and I darken my uh, blue to maybe minus 20 or somewhere in there. If you go too far, it looks, you know, you can make some cool effect, but we want to achieve a natural look here. So we'll slide it to maybe minus 20 or so. Now we're going to take a saturation. Saturation, we're going to saturate to, again, if you go too far, it doesn't look too good, but around minus 20. And now we have created a color in the sky that looks natural, more vibrant. It pops so much more now. So here it is. Here you have it. It was three simple steps. So saturation, luminance. We're going with the highlights and the exposure and counter effect of the exposure with the brush. So hopefully that works good for you guys. Again, it is very quick to do. Once you play with it, uh, you'll be able to do a lot more changes very quickly. And that's just it. Three little tips to enhance your photo. Thanks for watching, guys.